All right, guys. Today's video is on the Droid 2 again. Um, as you can see, Droid 2. All right. What I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to update Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay. So, uh, kind of prerequisites on this thing is this is running Android 2.3.4. I do have Super User installed, which gives you root permission. Um, also have your boot uh, Bootstrap 2 installed right there. So to update, what you want to do is you want to install this application right here. It's called ROM Manager. So you're going to click on it. And at the very top, it's going to probably ask you for super user permission if it's the first time you use it. So make sure you allow and hit remember to allow. So right up here on top, um, you can pick your recovery system. Now this now Bootstrap, that other app I showed you in the beginning, installs Clockwork Mod Recovery 2.0 something. So what you're going to actually install is you're going to install this one right here. It's Motorola Droid X second in it in it if I can say that right. Now there is a Droid 2 one which you can use, but this is the one you want to use because this allows you to install ROMs that utilize the second in it utility. So you're just going to go like this and then you're going to hit flash recovery. Okay? So when it is done and you reboot, you're going to be now running the newest Clockwork Mod Recovery for the Droid 2. Um, also way, if this doesn't work for you, and what I found I ended up doing, is you can download an application called Easy ES File Explorer. And you can actually go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. This is SD card Clockwork My Recovery. And then you can go to Downloads, Download, Recoveries, and you can find the one that is the right recovery. Hang on here. Properties, and yeah, that is it. That is the recovery that says Shadow Zip, and that is the right one. And you can actually copy it, and then you can actually put it in the right place. And where the right place is, is pre install recovery and then you can take this one right here the recovery zip and change it to recovery zip dot bak for backup like you can see I've done here this is actually the original one and this was the one I just copied which is this one and I pasted it in there so and you can paste it in here so this is slash pre-install slash recovery and just take your recovery it's in there right now name it to dot back for the backup one and then just paste the new one in there and it should function for you. Make sure you name it recovery.zip though. So that's the way I ended up doing it. For some reason Clockwork Mod Recovery didn't function for me. Um, but it should work for you guys. I don't know why it didn't for me. So then if you want to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery that is now updated from Clockwork Mod Recovery 2.0 something or another. Uh, now you can just boot into it the same way you normally would with reboot recovery or by killing power and holding R and the power button until it boots either way we'll reboot you into recovery um, so I'm just gonna reboot into recovery to show you guys what it looks like in recovery here alright I don't know if you can tell this or not but um, clockwork my recovery 2.0 was a green looking lettering this is more of like a, a really light blue so you can also see the version right down here which is version 5.0 so that is the newest version so you're good on that um, so there you go guys that is basically how to update to the newest version of clockwork mod recovery using ROM manager uh, to download the new recovery system you still need to use the bootstrap recovery it is what kinda like hacks the device to allow you to get into recovery um, so you're going to still need to use that, but this will update you to the newest Clockwork Mod Recovery and the newest features on it and everything like that. So that is it, guys. This is Droid 2. Um, hope you like it. Please check out the links in the four corners up here, um, and we'll catch you guys next time.